Hi DIYers, Joey from Alarm Grid, and today we're going to talk about swapping out a PROM chip on a Vista P panel. Now, most instances you would swap the PROM chip out on a Vista 15P or a Vista 20P, but sometimes you could swap it out on a Vista 21 IP. Most cases, this is going to be used so that you can get certain features on the system, and in most cases it'll be for Total Connect 2.0. Also, upgrading the PROM chip to a certain revision can allow your alarm provider to remotely access the panel with a certain downloading software. Uh, depending on what your panel's PROM chip is currently at though, they may have that ability. When you do get activated or if you do activate the system with an alarm provider or an alarm company, they're likely going to ask what PROM chip do you have and there may be an instance where you do need to upgrade the PROM chip. It's not that difficult to do. Now, if you have Vista panels such as a Vista 40, 50, 128, or 250 installed, those have a bit of a different process to upgrade the PROM chip, and you'll actually have to deal with tech support for that issue. In those cases, you're likely going to want to work with an alarm company to resolve that, but in most residential situations, and even in most basic commercial situations, you're going to have a 15, 20, or 21 IP installed. Now, to swap the PROM chip out, it's a pretty simple process. We're going to show you what this looks like on a 21 IP today. And what we found is if you don't have a chip puller available, the cheap way to do this is to actually use a binder clip, something basic just like this. Now, what you're going to do with the clip is you're going to take one of the clip portions out, just like that. And then on our panel, we're going to have to fully power this panel down. So I'm going to undo the main power plug, and I'm going to undo both the backup battery leads. So as you can see, all the lights have turned off, and the panel is fully powered down. Now, this little black chip right here is the PROM chip on the system. So to remove it, the best way to do this is to shimmy it out using both of these slots right here. So I'm going to take one end of my binder clip. I'm going to insert it here, get it under the PROM chip, and then pull up. After I do that, I'm going to go to the other side, insert it in this slot, and then pull up so it comes out in a uniform fashion. Now if you go back and forth, the prompt ship should come out nice and even, and you just want to pull it out straight so that you don't damage any of the pins. After you have it removed, get your new prompt ship, put it square into the socket, and then press down with a uniform pressure. After you feel it securely in, you should be able to power your panel back up and the firmware will be upgraded. So the process for upgrading the PROM chip is very simple. And again, this is going to be used so that you can get certain features on your system. There are some panels that aren't able to be PROM chip upgraded. In most cases, if your existing PROM chip says WA15-2 point whatever, or WA20P or 20 2 point whatever, it will be eligible for a PROM chip upgrade. If it's below that revision, below the two point whatever number it is, it's, gonna, it's likely an older panel and it's not going to be able to be PROM chip upgraded. In those cases, you may be looking at swapping out the board entirely to get those new features that you may be looking for, such as remote downloading and Total Connect 2.0. If you do have any questions though about this process, as it can be a little scary swapping out the prompt chip on the board, feel free to give us a call at 888-818-7728. Send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com or head over to our website, www.alarmgrid.com. If you enjoy the video, feel free to subscribe. If you want to be notified about future videos, hit the notification button below and we'll send you an update when we do so. Thanks for watching and have a great day.